with every technology wave, there's new jobs, new roles that get created. We've seen it with the internet wave, we've seen it with the mobile wave, right? When I was studying my computer science degree, there was nobody the title of an iOS developer or an app developer. It, it, it just didn't exist as a job, and I know AI is going to create these new jobs. Now, can we proactively train more women and minorities to fill these jobs that will be created? So Humans for AI is about empowering more women and minorities to learn about AI in preparation for the new jobs that, will be, that AI will create. For very selfish reasons, I need more women in technology. Usually I'm the only woman at the table and it's very lonely and it, it'll be good to have some more women there. I know that we will need more diversity, not only from a gender perspective, but from a professional background perspective, from an educational background, uh, from economic backgrounds. We need a, for AI to be truly robust and reach its true potential. We need more diversity uh, in the development, in the design of AI. And today it's a very elite group that's developing AI. And I don't think that's good for the long run. My mom, uh, she did not complete her college. She did not finish her degree. And uh, she's one of the most hardworking women that I've ever met in my life. And I get a lot of my energy, I think, comes from her. The other person is uh, Mother Teresa. So when I was like 11 or 12 years old, there was a orphanage uh, that uh, Mother Teresa had in my hometown. And I went to volunteer there. And I, the kind of uh, children I met, the people who were there, that made a lasting impression on me. And that just kept me, I think, a lifelong volunteer. I'm always looking at how can I help? How can I give back?